rad scientists. Welcome to week two of our program. This week we'll be making cloud dough. No, you don't eat it. It's like Play-Doh, but lighter and fluffier, but not too fluffy. It's fun and you'll have a blast making it and a blast playing with it. And you can keep it when you're done, you can keep it in a plastic bag and play with it for a week or two, as long as you keep it hydrated and it doesn't dry out. So let's get started on making our cloud dough. Here we go, let's make our cloud dough. We only need two ingredients for this. We just need baby lotion and cornstarch. Now, if you picked up a kit, I already packaged that up for you and you should be good to go. Now I do recommend not using 100% of what was given to you because just because of the air, you could have dry air and then makes it more dry. And if you, there's more moisture in the air, then you might need less cornstarch, more cornstarch, less lotion. So it's just like when you're baking, you gotta kind of feel everything out. So don't use all of it, don't just dump dump you might need to tweak it a bit. Anyway, so I am going to do, I just have a third of a measuring cup just because that's what I have available to me right now. So the basic recipe is two parts cornstarch, one part lotion. So if you have a third of a cup, a quarter of a cup, it doesn't matter as long as you do two cornstarches and one lotion. Like I said, it's not exact because the moisture in the air um, changes how things react. So don't just dump them both in because you might get a too crumbly of a cloud dough or it might be too wet. And if you don't have extra supplies, then you might be in trouble. So just add a little bit of a time to make sure you have enough at the end to compensate if it's too dry or too wet. All right, so one, two, that was a big old mess. Two corn starches, one lotion. Now, I have never smelled baby magic lotion before. And uh, if you're sensitive, this is a very fragrant lotion. So it's very intense smell. Just a warning. All right, one part lotion. Now I'm going to mix it all together. Like so. Now, if you have some food dye, you can mix that in as well. I didn't provide that because last time it got a little, a little messy in the bag, so I didn't want to mess around with it this time. But I'm going to add a little, I think I have some leftover food, food dye. I'm going to go grab it. Here, just so you can see better what I'm doing, it's all just kind of white. I'm going to add a little food coloring. Don't need much. Whew, that's probably more than I need. Ah, oh, well, now my fingers are going to be blue for three days. Here we go. I'll mix all this up. And if you'd like, you can use your fingers. It will mix better to get in there. So it's all mixed up. Well, this is too much for this tiny bowl, so I'm going to move on to a tray. Then we can get into it real good here. That happens. Sometimes you gotta adapt. Change things up. There we go. Now just keep kneading it together. All 
All right, now, like I told you before, you might have to add a little bit of cornstarch if it's too wet still, and you might have to add a little bit of lotion if it's too dry. Mine's getting there. If I keep working it, I think I'm about to my wanted texture. But if I think it's a little too sticky, I said a little bit at a time. Don't go crazy with your adding. Just add a little bit and then work it in there a lot before you add more because yeah, you can still see the flour. Flour. I'm used to working with dough. The cornstarch. It's not all incorporated in there yet. So keep going. It's like you're kneading bread. It's one of my favorite things to do actually is knead bread. Very relaxing. There. And actually, this is just like bread. You mix a couple ingredients and you bake it up and magic delicious food. But there we go. As you can see, it's squishy and smooth because we just mixed the lotion and the cornstarch. And you can just keep going. Like I said, this is still a little sticky. You can just keep adding just a touch of cornstarch if yours is too sticky. Just make it the texture you like. You know what I mean? Like, if you think it's too sticky, then add more cornstarch. If you think it's too dry, add a little more lotion. And just get it to the texture you like it to be. Because then, when you're done, you play. Not that we're not already playing, let's be honest. So yeah, you can go nuts and have your cloud dough. It's very squishy. It feels fun because of that cornstarch. It's similar to our non-Newtonian fluid, but it's not the same. It's similar in the fact that it's fun to play with, but it is a different composition. I think it's fun to add a little more cornstarch and see how it gets dry and then add a little more lotion. And if you run out of lotion you can add a little water just because we need you know the moisture so don't be too worried about trying that. Don't add too much. A few drops at a time. Be patient. But there you have it. Our handy dandy cloud dough for hours and hours of entertainment. Have fun. And if you know of any fun ways to make cloud dough or play dough, go ahead and let us know. Maybe we'll add that to our roster of fun things to make from our at-home items. All right, my friends, until next time, Explore the world around you. See ya.